Hello and welcome Capricorn to your Lunar Eclipse reading for uh, September 16th, 2016. Um, I'm Dedimkar and I'm using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg deck. Call upon the energies of Saturn for any messages for Capricorn. The month of September, the lunar eclipse 2016. Messages does Saturn Spirit have for Capricorn, please? Hidden meaning, two of coins. Overall general meaning. Two of coins stands for difficulty in launching new projects. Difficult situations, new troubles, embarrassment. So perhaps you were going to open a business, but something went wrong at the last second. Um, you are planning to go on a trip, but um, somebody wanted to come along or there was a halt in plans. Suddenly, um, something uh, embarrassing concerning cancellation of some kind. Your current position is the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. An invitation or opportunity may soon arise. Arrival, approach, advancement, attraction, inducement, appeal, challenge, or proposal. So do not be concerned. Um, this two of coins with a change of plans is because something is approaching you. You are trying to make a decision about something that has recently come up. Ace of Cups has crossed your path. You have a new opportunity. Great abundance, fulfillment, perfection, joy, fertility, opulence, productiveness, beauty, pleasure, goodness overflowing, and a favorable outlook. So you've had to cancel something at the last moment because a wonderful opportunity fell in your lap and it is looking really positive right now. Above you in your head, you have the Queen of Coins. This is a lady of great wealth. Either becoming a lady of great wealth or you, could, you are concerned with impressing a lady of great wealth. This means prosperity and well-being, abundance, opulence, extreme comfort, generosity, security, liberty, magnificence, grace, dignity, a rich person but generous and charitable, a noble soul. So this is someone who is not only wealthy, but is also philanthropic, uh, able to have enough wealth to give to others noble causes in your distant past. We have the High Priestess. This is a person of uh, chastity. Saint Elga equal to the apostles. 
Grand Duchess of Kiev, was the first in Russia to accept the Eastern Orthodox faith from the Byzantines in 957. The three-barred cro Russian cross adorns her chest, and she blesses with her right hand and holds a scroll in her left hand. The lion that supports the throne symbolizes the paganism of the tribes of ancient Russia. The red cloth emphasizes coming changes in 30 years. Olga's grandson, St. Duke Vladimir, will have baptized all Russian people, helping to unify the Slavic tribes. She means wisdom, sound judgment, common sense, serenity, objectivity, penetration, foresight, intuition, perception, self-reliance, emotionlessness, platonic relationships. So you have certainly played by the rules in the past, Capricorn. In the recent past, there has been temperance. And so temperance is a very uh, interesting card. Um, certainly goes along with the high priest as well for conveying um, moderation. An angelic woman pours water from one vessel to another. At her feet is a stream, above the stars shine. The meaning is moderation, temperance, patience, accomplishment through self-control and frugality, accommodation, harmony, the mixing or bringing together into perfect union, management, fusion, adjustment, good influence, and consolidation. So you, you have managed through blending, through adjusting, through possibly renting out part of your house or cutting down on your own rent expenses, um, moving in with others, sharing. This speaks of somebody who has um, certainly gone without or uh, done a lot of frugality in the past, done what they could to be frugal. And in your future, you have the chariot, which speaks of um, reaching a decision and journeying forward at a fast pace. Progr progress. The chariot, though the horses wish to pull in different directions, the Russian knight who drives the chariot manages to go forward. The initials of the artist YS are on the front of the chariot. It means adversity, possibly already overcome. Conflicting influences, turmoil, vengeance, success. Possibly a voyage or a journey, escape, rushing to a decision, need to pay attention to details, urgency to gain control over one's emotions. Okay. So, your influence on others, their influence on you, particularly their influence on your immediate environment. Three of Cups. So you have good people around you right now, Capricorn. Um, you are, have support. Resolution of a problem, conclusion, solace, healing, satisfactory result, fulfillment, and compromise. The answer is, if at all possible, reach a compromise. Try to be convivial. In your environment, how your environment is influenced by others at this time, Queen of Swords, other people's influence upon you. Queen of Swords is all about quick-witted, intensely perceptive, a subtle person, possibly a widow or a woman of sadness, mourning, privation, absence, loneliness, separation, one who has savored great happiness, but who presently knows the anxiety of misfortune and reversal. So this is somebody who is currently perhaps um, kind of getting by okay monetarily, but it's not great. And furthermore, someone who is separated from the person they love, from their twin flame, someone who is um, emotionally not present because they are off um, somewhere far away 
and that is very difficult at this time. Um, you've, you've known good, loving relationships in your life, and that's not happening right now. Um, and you're at a position of wondering why when you've got good people in your life supporting you and and you've got um, you you've certainly been frugal in the past to help with the future let's see what your inner emotions are the king of cups okay so your your inner emotions are about responsibility and creativity a learned person professional businessman, lawyer, religious person, scientist, a considerate person, kind and reliable, liberal in manner, artist, interest in the arts and sciences, and generosity. So this is both yourself as well as someone who is going to be coming into your life. What you're looking for, what your heart longs for, is someone with tangible skills who, you know, um, I guess uh, is works towards a higher um, motivation. And the conclusion, we have the King of Coins. King of Coins An experienced and successful leader, a person of character and intelligence, business acumen, mathematical ability, a loyal friend, a reliable marriage partner, a wise investment, the ability to acquire money and valuable possessions. So, uh, at the very beginning, we were concerned with the two of coins, which was all about difficulty in launching new projects, difficult situations, new troubles, and embarrassment. And by the conclusion, we have the King of Coins, which is all about an experienced and successful leader. So, Two of Coins speaks of having a choice that you must deal with in your uh, Capricorn. And you have some abundance already happening through your own ability to be moderate. Um, you are now traveling, you have people in your immediate vicinity who are kind and supportive, but emotionally you are alone at this time, and, um, or in your environment, physically you are alone at this time. Emotionally you are feeling abundance and lightness and, and good things are coming your way. You, you now realize that you have choices, options, um, that you are stepping into a position of responsibility and creativity, of being a religious person, of being a learned person, of, um, and, and this is what you will be questioning about in the near future, of being generous, of being, all of these things are either someone who emotionally you are calling towards, or someone who is emotionally in it, fulfilling for you. You are either that person or they are coming towards you. And then in the King of Coins, we see that person realized. So, and the, the King of Coins, who is an experienced and successful leader, a person of character and intelligence, the business acumen, the mathematical ability, the loyal friend, the reliable marriage partner, the wise investment, the ability to acquire the money and the valuable possessions. And you are speeding towards that with the chariot. So what I am seeing is that your heart will be healed, 
that you will find someone who is generous and noble who will um, support you um, in all ways and that this time of forced self-denial will be put to a close that you are making the correct decisions you are not making the easy decisions but you are making the correct decisions Capricorn okay <coughs> so what message does spirit have for Capricorn at this time of the lunar eclipse September 16th 20 16, what messages do we have? We have the fairy of youth. And the fairy of youth, 32, she's just a beautiful girl on a little mushroom smiling. She's so sly. The fairy of youth is about enthusiasm, limitless ability, and positive expectations. Sometimes it's important to see things through the youthful eyes of this fairy. As we grow older, we tend to lose the sense of wonder that we had as children. Children often believe that anything is possible. When our son Toby was a child, he knew, he knew that both Brian and I were very good at making things. Costumes, toys, puppet theaters, castles, elaborate birthday cakes. He assumed that we could make anything, and because of his expectations, we tried harder and found that, indeed, we could make almost anything we could, he could imagine. I noticed that people reading this will think, well, of course you can make things, that's what you do. But that's not the point. The point is, we didn't know we could do it until we looked at the situation the way Toby was seeing it. When we looked at it with a sense of wonder and put aside our preconceived ideas about limitations, we found that we could do far more than we thought we could. This applies to everyone. Approach things with youthful enthusiasm and a child's assumption of limitless ability, and you may find that you too can do things you never imagined possible. Why limit yourself? So, this says, ask for more. Look for more. If you are dissatisfied in any way, Capricorn, you can have more. It is only you who are putting limitations, who is putting limitations upon yourself right now. And that all of that financial abundance, all of that support and security and, and uh, intellect, intellectual accomplishment, it is waiting for you. It is waiting to be part of your world. And the only thing that keeps you from that is uh, your decisions, is your timing. But the chariot is racing ahead at this time. It is racing ahead and you will be soon in the company of a new level of intellectual satisfaction. Uh, a new level of passion, a new level of commitment and devotion um, to a best friend that you never thought possible. So I hope that this reading has helped you as, and I truly enjoyed reading for you. And I wish you a most wonderful lunar eclipse, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Satnam, Namaste, and many, many blessings. Take care.